Oh, I'm so sorry. Sir, is this the end of the line? But how will I find you? Don't, I have don't, to give you the worry, rest of we'll the money. Is everything house. okay? Can but I help wait. you? Oh, my grandson is in trouble. His friend promised to help me with... Uh, wait a second! Wait, wait! Hey, come here! Wait, hold on, please! Hey! Wait! Uh. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, my God. What's wrong? She tricked me, right? Right? Uh, what did she say? She said she's a friend of his. That he's in the hospital. That he needs money. For the surgery. Uh, she probably followed you. Let's go to the police station and file a claim. And what am I going to write? I did give her the money myself. Oi. The whole pension. How am I going to live in this? Oh my god. Here's a tissue. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, your money. Thank you, I completely forgot. You take it. No, 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 I cannot. No, no, I... <laughs> no, 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 I insist. I insist. I'll be okay without it. It's okay. But, but how can I... You need it. Uh, Please take it. Thank you, sweetheart. What's your name, dear? Arena. Arena. Here. Take some oh, apples. No. Take them. It's the least that I can do for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And ma'am, please be careful. Yes, yes. Thank you. Loneliness, part one. Oh, <laughs> Arena, dear. Hello, Violetta. So, how are you feeling? Oh, much, much better. I'm, I'm fine now. <laughs> Here you go. Some apples for oh, you. Oh, thanks. I'll eat them when my throat is better. So, how are the little ones at the orphanage? Oh, they really miss you. But I promised them that next summer you'll you'll intern with us again. I miss them a lot too. You know, how about you join me for some tea in the garden today? Um, will you be okay? Come on, fresh air is very good for us. <laughs> and who's the third person? Ah, it's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Violeta, there you go acting like a matchmaker again. Well, you don't want to spend your whole life alone, do you? No, I don't want that. I just, uh, hope and know that one day he'll come. Maybe, and how do you know? I don't, but I think I'll just know it. Ah, oh, my dreamer. Oh, it's our handsome Kostya. Nice to see you, Violetta. How are you? <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, Arena. Hello, Kostya. You look amazing. Thank you, it's good to see you. How's your college? It's fine. And why are you here? Well, well I... Kostya called me this morning when he found out that you'd be here, so he decided to come too. Well, let's go to the garden. Um, My dear, can you help? Yes, yes, of course. Let's go. After you. <laughs> they look adorable. They're so grown up. But someone's missing, right? Yes, the twins. The Smirnoffs? They and were I'm... adopted. Mm. I'm happy for them, though it's sad to say goodbye. I'm happy too. But as director of the orphanage, I'm beyond myself. <gasps> oh. My dear, why so quiet? Some tea? Thank you. But I really can't stay for long. I just wanted to see you and, well, invite Arena to my birthday party that's happening tonight. You remember, don't you? Ah, oh, it's your birthday. Forgive me, I forgot. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. But there's more. I just bought a car. 
We're celebrating in a small but close group. So, hmm? Kostya? I'm sorry, I don't think so. I have a seminar. I have That's to study. That's it. Enough. We haven't seen each other in what feels like a million years. Come on. Yes, of course, school is school, uh, but you need a celebration, too. That's right. But I don't even have a gift for you. You are a gift, and a very beautiful one. <laughs> Good Come, point. it'll be fun. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Violetta, I'm sorry, but I should go study before of I go course, out tonight. Of course, of course. Go, go, go. Let me give you a lift. It'll be faster. Okay. Okay, Perfect, see ya. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Let's go. No, Thank you. Be careful driving. You got it, of course. Goodbye, goodbye. Walk Arena home after the party. Most definitely. Arena, call me in the evening. Okay. Goodbye. Arena! Gorgeous. Arena, enough studying. Let's get ready. We'll be late. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick. What are you going to wear? Mm. I have this dress. That? That's horrible. Wear this. Let me see. Are you sure? Well, you might be right. Why give Kostya another reason? Hmm. Kostya is like my brother. Galia, to be honest, I don't really want to go tonight. Well, then don't. You're right. But I promise, though. You know, I have this strange feeling that I should be there tonight. Like it's meant to be. Maybe I'll go. He's not letting anyone in again. Why are you so sad? Come on, smile. We're going to a party after all. There's going to be so many people. Tonight should be fun. I'm glad we decided to come. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you know him? He's handsome. I'd introduce myself. For Kostya's party. gentlemen and here we have the most anticipated guests of the party friends give them a good welcome galia and arena <laughs> <laughs> won't you have a seat ladies oh, please galia arena so the very best food and drinks that the city has to offer uh, arena would you like some no thanks i'll have some juice okay as you wish galia here you go vodka uh -huh, i see so i'd like to raise a toast to us. Huh? Great. All right. Woohoo! Cheers! Arena, what's wrong? Mm. Arena, dear. Thank you so much for coming. Hold it. No room. I'll go sit at the bar. Hey, what's a hold up? Nothing. All good. People in, but not others. He got drunk and he couldn't remember anything from the entire night. And that's the whole story. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, it was unbelievable. No, this guy. Can I have some water, please? Yeah, sure. Time. Can't handle his vodka. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's raise the glasses. Let's have a toast to me. Kostya. What's with the weirdo? Where? That guy. What's he staring at? Uh, Arena, do you know him? 
No. All right, guys, get him out of here. Ah, so uh, Costia, anyway. no, stop it. He's just here to relax. He's not bothering anyone, is he? Uh, Costia. Uh, I would like to raise a glass to your recent success and to all your future endeavors. Ah, oh, Arena, thank you very much. Mwah. I second that. Galia, <laughs> dear. Mwah. All right then. To the best company a guy could ask for. Costia. Woohoo! It's my birthday! <laughs> Woohoo! Your water, sir? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Arena, how about a dance? No, Costia, I don't want to. Come on, please. Let's go. It's my birthday. I should be able to have whatever I want. No, I said Come I on. don't want to. The birthday boy have... is drunk. No, Arena, I just... <clears throat> Even from far away, it's clear the lady doesn't want to dance with you. <laughs> from far away, you say? Well, then go far away. Or are you looking for problems? So what if I am? Oh, <laughs> you all heard that, right? Hmm? He asked for this. Whoa, whoa. Oh, so that's how you want to play it. Oh, oh, oh my god! Get him over here! Come on, come down, come down. Stop it! Get out of here! Let's take it outside then! Come on! I'm gonna kill that bastard! Where is he? Huh? Kostya, calm down. I am calm. Everything's fine. Perfectly fine. There he is. Well, get over here. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Watch what I do to this guy. I'm really sorry I ruined your night. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Kostya, stop it! How about that? Now get the hell out of here. I never want to see your face around here again. And we're going somewhere else. Come on, Arena. Wait! Arena! Are you coming? I'll go with you. It's so beautiful. Let's choose a boat. How about that one? Why that one? Because eight is my lucky number. <laughs> Mine too. Let's go. This is my favorite spot. It's so quiet. I like it. us here. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling today. That something would happen. happen. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you looking at me earlier. And you too. I've always dreamed of someone like you. I thought you didn't exist. And yet here you are. was about to say. What? Destiny. I was just thinking that. 
We even think the same things. <laughs> <laughs> I bet we even know each other's names. Sergey. I'm Arena. Where is she? Where is she? How did you get into the dorm? I found a way. Where's Arena? I don't know. She hasn't returned yet. What does that mean? Hey, where is she? Hey! The sun's almost out. We've lost all track of time, Arena. And what day is it today? The eighth. The beginning of our infinity. Arena, tell me everything about yourself. I want to know. As long as I can remember, I've always been alone. I grew up an orphan, and I don't have many friends. You're an orphan. It's strange. I have never told anyone about how lonely I've been feeling except you. They say that my mother is somewhere in another city, but I've never seen her in my entire life. Yesterday, I wanted to send her a letter, but I didn't send it, and then I lost it. I thought that it must have been fate. I will help you find her. I want you to know. Now you have me. I should head back. Galia must be worried about me. Galia can wait. We'll come later, to get your stuff. Right now I want to introduce you to my mom. Sergey. Sergey, why haven't you been answering the phone? I've been calling you. Mom, the phone was off. I didn't hear it. This is very unlike you. What happened? Something happened, Mom. I met a girl, and I love her. Interesting. Hold on a second. I'll introduce you. This is Arena. Hello there, miss. It's so nice to meet you, finally. Ludmila, nice to meet you. Wow, you have so many books. I got them all from my dad. This is my... This is our room. This is where we'll live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just realized how much I want to sleep. Sleep? <laughs> well then, sleep. And you? I've got something to do. I'll be back before you even realize I'm gone. Sleep well, darling.
Hey, Danya, buddy, I've been looking everywhere for you. I've been to the studio quiet, and to the quiet, library quiet. and... What's going on? It's urgent. I've met someone, Danya. I need the rings. Got it. Let's sit down, then. Here are the sizes. Mm -hmm. But the rings have to be special, you know? My favorite color. Green. Malachite, no, perhaps? No, no. Malachite is fragile. I think a gat is stronger. That's good. What's your name? Arena. Arena. But let me tell you, this won't be finished in a day. Do your best, please. I'll try. Uh, thank you. Ah, and most importantly, forgot. Engrave on the rings. Sergei Arena. Sergei Arena. I got it. And how much is it? Oh, come on. It's a wedding present. From me. Thank you. My brother. Congratulations. Gentlemen, keep it down, please. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I was so fast asleep that I didn't even hear you come in. Don't worry. You don't need to apologize. I just couldn't wait for the opportunity to get to know you a little better. You see, it's not every day that my son brings a girl to our home, to be honest. This is the first time he's brought anyone. <laughs> it's a surprise. Uh, for me as well. <laughs> How long have you known each other? Uh, from 7 to 6. Mm. I mean, from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m., of course. <laughs> mm. Love at first sight, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess so. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't experience it, but I heard it happens all the time. I'm very happy for you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Enough about feelings. This is your business. So tell me, what do you do? Who are your parents? Well, I don't have parents. I was raised in an orphanage. What? <sighs> I... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for a walk. Um, maybe I'll run into Sergei. He said that he wasn't gonna take long. Uh-huh. Sergey, My darling's back. What's happened? What's going on? What do you mean? Irina told me everything about her life. Mom, what did you say? To upset my future wife? Your future wife? Your future wife? If you don't mind. <laughs> I don't. But Sergey, <laughs> You heard it right. We have to go. I'm sorry, Mom. Sergey, come back. What is it, Mom? What, wife? Do you hear me? I'm asking you, don't go. What future wife? Are you crazy? I'm sorry, Mom. You lost your mind. <sighs> Wait for me. I'll be back. I will, I will, I will. Hey. You and I have some unfinished business. Then why don't we finish it? Let's go. Are you serious? You're actually going to live with a guy you've known for less than a day? Arena, have you lost your mind? Perhaps, but that doesn't change anything. But you barely know anything about him. My friend, I know one thing that we are truly made for each other. What are the odds? Well, good luck to you. <laughs> I'm the happiest person in the entire world. <laughs> Maybe I'll get this lucky someday. Of course you will. I sincerely wish that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you prick. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Hey, <laughs> hey, stop. Brick. Calm down, you guys. <laughs> I said calm down. Kostya, this is Sergei. Sergei, this is Kostya, my classmate. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Sergei is my future husband. Uh, is that so? 
Kostya, if you really like me, you're gonna have to accept this. And on top of that, wish us happiness. Then I do wish you happiness. Let's go. But you're still a prick. What's that? Oh yeah, Sergey. I'm still right here. Calm down, let's go. Come on. We'll see about this. Why do I need a tracksuit? Where are we going? That is a surprise. Put on something warm and comfortable. Son, can I talk to you for a minute? Just a few words. Hmm. Honey, I don't recognize you. Bringing over a random girl. Honey, you've always been so sensible. Bringing over an orphan, a homeless girl. She might even be a thief. Mom, she's not- I'm not a thief or homeless. It's not my fault if I was abandoned when I was little. Sergey, I'm sorry. I can't stay in this house if your mother's going to treat me this way. Mom, the both of us are going. Sergey, don't go. I'm begging you. Well, forgive me. So I lost my temper. I overreacted. This is all so unexpected. Mom, we'll be out for a few days. You'll have time to cope with your emotions. Honey, please don't go. I'm sorry, Mom. Sergey, my sweetheart. <laughs> Almost there. <sighs> Come on in. This is my work. What do you do here? I received my degree in geology. And then, when I got my diploma, I immediately got to work studying rare minerals at the laboratory. What does that mean? Well, broadly speaking, I study the Earth. In reality, I love exploring caves. I'm a speleologist. I'd love to go to a cave one day, but only if you take me with you. Well, you'll always be with me now. But before going to the caves, you'll have to pass a special training course. <laughs> I'm an orphan. I can do just about everything. Oh, here are my friends. Oh, wow. Guys, this is Arena. Arena, what a beautiful name. Sounds like Pushkin a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> no, this is Volodya. On. He's my friend, he's a funny guy. We met in college, and we've been friends since. Hello. Hello. Marek, Antosha, Gosha, and of course, our Polina. Nice to meet you, Arena. You too. So you're with us now? Arena is with us forever. She's my fiance. Wow. Congratulations. What a surprise. Well, let's go chat out in the wild. The bus isn't gonna wait. Let's go. Let's go, he says. Hang tight. You're so strong. <laughs> That's without any sleep last night. <laughs> With you, I'm twice as strong. Okay, sweetheart. Take a break right here. Guys! I'll go on ahead. See where we can set up camp. Polina. Huh? Come here. Polina. Huh? You have experience. Take Arena under your wing. Woman to woman. Show her around. Tell her how we do things here, okay? She's a newbie. All right? Oh, yeah, I noticed. If you're tired, just wink at me. I. Oh, it's okay. Yeah? I'm all right. Careful. <laughs> yeah, Sergey's a lucky guy. Do you, well, maybe you have a friend? I don't know, anybody? I'm just a single guy ready for a serious relationship. Well, so if you're so serious, then you're in luck, because there is my friend, Galena. Galena? I already like her. Introduce <laughs> me. <laughs> what, what, what is it? What Are is okay? it? Is it okay? Let me see. I think I sprained my finger. <laughs> so? How are you? Are you all right? The hero who once dreamed of conquering the great Elbrus, but fell victim to a sprained finger. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. No problem. Back on track. Let's catch up with Paulina. Let's go.
Where did you learn to do that? I learned first aid at the orphanage. This one time I had to get a fishing hook out of a third grader's left shoulder. <laughs> Sergey, come on, brother. <laughs> oh, here we go. I got another one. I got another one. Okay, so two hikers are making their way through the woods, and they uh, come face to face with a grizzly bear. One of the hikers takes off, and the bear starts to charge. The other hiker says, Hey, what are you doing? You can't outrun a bear. And the first hiker says, I don't have to outrun the bear, I just have to outrun you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us the train okay. one. Okay, okay. Tell so us, please. Says, Use letter carrier in a sentence. So the student says, well, after seeing the luggage my sister's bringing, I'm going to letter carrier own luggage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. I got another one. I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Sergey, so <laughs> anything I should know about the cave? Yeah. Well, I'll explain. When a speleologist descends or climbs a rope, he must shout to the next one, clear, you can't go without this command. Ah, uh, it must be dangerous, right? No more dangerous than life. After all, we all die in the end. Well, no. We have an entire infinity ahead of us. Hey, let's sit down. Right here. That is not what happened. Take a look. The stars. They're connected by an invisible thread in order to form a constellation just like you and me. Invisibly connected. Until the end of time. That's what I'm telling you. Infinity. Там, где на карте сойдутся двери, там, где глаза твои синие, синие, там, у костра мы в обнимку с гитарою, эту песенку старую. Sergey, I don't want you to have any problems with your mom because of me. What kind of problems could there be? If my mother disagrees with something, we'll just rent an apartment together. Well, see, that's what I'm afraid of. She'll hate me forever then. I am certain that I won't have to make a choice between you and my mother. Hey, in any case, I'm not leaving you. Sergey, Arena, how was your trip? Fantastic. Arena liked my friends and they liked her. <laughs> well, of course everyone liked the lovely Arena. I'm sure they loved her. Well, did you miss a home-cooked meal? Bet you're tired of snacks by now. Let's have dinner. Come on, I'm setting the table. Wash your hands. So, tell me how it went. Oh, come on, Sergey. It was fine. What do you want from I'm me? I'm asking you as a friend, so? Just don't laugh, okay? I think I'm in love. No, listen, I know nobody will compare to your arena, but Gilia, she has this... She's just basically perfection, you know? I don't know. Volodya, let's go out, the four of us. That sounds great. Guys, have you seen this offer for Thrill Seekers? Oh, yeah? They're recruiting for an expedition to Sinyavskaya. Any volunteers? Uh, when and how much? They seem to be paying pretty well. I'm not sure about the exact number, but I'm gonna pass. Why's that? Well, it's kind of far, and City of Sky has a bad reputation. I'm kind of worried. We make our own luck. Yeah, but we do, like, well-paid extreme adventures, and plus, Sergey's planning a wedding soon. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go. I set us a table in the cafeteria. Come on. Who do we talk to? The deputy director. 
What do you say? I'm with you. Six birthmarks. Six. <laughs> Hi, What's up, man? How are well, you? where have you been? <laughs> well, uh, we were we just got stuck in a little heavy traffic, you know. In the elevator. In the elevator, yeah. <laughs> have you ordered yet? We were waiting for you, actually. Oh, well, well we're sorry. Hey, do you, you know the main rule of exploring caves is protection, protection, and protection. And do you know <laughs> the main rule of hungry girls? Mm, no. Tell me. They're ready to eat whatever's on the menu because they won't get full on jokes alone. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll never so what do you want to eat? <laughs> I... Whatever she's gonna have. Sergey, so are we going to donate blood tomorrow? Meaning? Oh, we donate blood from time to time. We donate extra blood. Yep. I want to do it too. Well, to donate blood, you need to make sure you eat well. Why do you need to do this? Oh... Uh... Well, what do you mean? I don't see why two young and healthy guys shouldn't share their young and healthy blood with those who really need it. But you don't even know who you're donating it to. You'll never see them and they'll never thank you. But we believe that it can save a life. I'm not kidding, guys. I'm coming too. Seriously. Ooh, I'll have the carbonara. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you go without me? So speleologist's third rule of behavior in a hospital, in short, when they donate blood, they ha oh, oh, hold on, it's Galia. Sergey, I'm sorry, I gotta go, otherwise Galia and I will be late to the movies. All right, and all right. Do give my respect to Irina. I will, I, I will, Volodya. You got this. <laughs> What's taking so long? Irina, are you okay? It just hurts. Come on, sit down. What hurts? I'm, I'm what fine. Happened? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. You're feeling nauseous? Hey, don't worry. She's just a little sick. It happens the first time. Let her sit a little, and then go for a walk, get some fresh air, drink some pomegranate juice, eat maybe, a steak. Oh, anything but steak. Well, if you don't want a steak, then here, you can have this. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good couple. That's very rare, with a rare blood type. Type O negative. It's not like type AB. It's very specific. And in case of a transfusion, you can only use type O negative. Do you see? We even share the same blood type, Arena. We're linked. I love you so much. Hey, brother. Hey, Danya. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Your order is ready. Thank you. You are an expert. Come on. The main thing is they bring you happiness. Thank you, brother. Seriously. You're well. Good luck. I'll see you. So, the first goal is to map out the Sinyevskaya cave. Second, assess the underground voids for the possible presence of minerals. Sounds good. When do we start? You start the day after tomorrow. You can count us in. Sergey, what are you doing here? Everything all right? Everything's fine. I just wanted to take the time to formally propose to you. <laughs> How beautiful. Do you see yours says Sergey and mine, Arena? So, will you marry me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Look. It's like our infinity. Do you think you can take a day off from class to see me off? Well, of course I can. I just really wish you weren't going anywhere. It'll only be for two weeks. You'll be thinking of me, and I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> and time will fly by. Sergei, maybe I should go back and stay in the dorm for a little bit. No. I don't want to bother your mom. What are you talking about? We're going to be a family. <sighs> Children, it's time for dinner. <laughs> what are you two doing in here? Mom, we wanted to tell you something. Yes? Tomorrow we're going to file an application to be married. Congratulations. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than just a civil union. I'll make some tea. And also, Mom, the day after tomorrow, I'm leaving for an expedition for a couple of weeks. They're paying well. That's so. Well, Sergei. Yes, I want a beautiful wedding. Well, in any case, we should still talk over tea. Mm. I like it here, Violetta. It's so nice in the country. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at you and you're luminous from love. Tell me, how are things with his mother lately? Have you been getting along? Uh, she's nice. As she should be, being the mother of such a wonderful son. <laughs> See, I'm finally living in a family. Sometimes I look at Ludmila and try to imagine what my mom oh, would be well. like. Uh, wasn't I like a mother to you? Of course, I didn't have any of my own kids, but I have many years of teaching experience. Seriously, you are the real mother of all of us. The best mom of all moms. <laughs> oh, you're like my mom. You're my sweetheart. <laughs> Tell me, please. Arena, do you want to be a mother yourself one of these days? Do you? Uh, don't be shy. It's normal. I would say even natural. What day is it today? Uh, today's the 29th. Why do you ask? Well, if you think about it, then of course, everything has its time, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Violetta, you know what? I should probably go. I still have other things to do today. Oh, <laughs> let's go. I'll see you off. I'm so glad you came by. Come again, okay? Bye-bye, Violetta. See you later. <laughs> Goodbye. There's a magazine in here somewhere. Um, uh, 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 I, Irina Zolotova, am writing to apply for assistance in the search for my mother, Ulyana Nikolaevna. Good, we're still missing the ham, but I'll start with this. Here's the cottage cheese. Thank you. Oh, it's Sergei. It's Sergei. It's Sergei. Hello? Ah, uh, hello, yeah. Hello. Sergei, it's you. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Arena, honey, everything's fine. I miss you terribly, too. How are you feeling? 
Arena, are you still there? Is everything okay? It's okay. Everything's fine. Um, honey, I'm pregnant. Arena, what are you saying? We're having a baby? Oh my god, I want to hug you so much right now. I really, really want to hug you. Arena, I'm so glad. Take care of yourself. Let yeah. me talk to him. Yes, of course, yeah. Sergey? Sergey, can you hear me? me? I on. can't hear you, Sergey. The connection is so bad. Sergey! How's mom? Give her the phone. We're sitting at the table together right now. Hold on, I'll give her the phone, okay? One second, one second. Here, here, here. Hello, Sergey? My... Hello? Hello, Sergey! My son! Are you eating well? What do you eat there? I'm fine, mom. I'm not starving. But I miss your cooking. Just three more days. Ah, uh, honey. But are you staying warm over there? I said, what's the weather like? Mom, I'm in the south here. It's much warmer than back home. Ah, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I can yeah, hardly Sergei. hear you. Yeah, Hello. Mom, you're gonna be a grandmother. Well, that's all. <sighs> so you're pregnant. Congratulations. Now you have to eat for two. Come on, eat <laughs> up. You have to eat. You know, when I was pregnant a long time ago with Sergei, <laughs> I was eating for three. <laughs> well, do you see what a son I got? <laughs> Tell me something. When Sergei was little, what was he like? He was perfect. Sergei was a surprisingly smart boy. <laughs> Very smart and... Never afraid of anything ever since he was a little boy. I hope that our kids will inherit those qualities. I hope so too. Did you find out today? Uh -huh. It's positive? Yeah, I even did too, to be sure. <laughs> Congratulations! It's all happening so fast! Yeah, that's true. And how are things at the dorm? Huh, they want to give me a roommate, but I'm pushing back as hard as I can. And how's the snake? You know, it seems she accepted me. And today she seemed really happy when I told her about the pregnancy. Really? <laughs> well, but you know what? I think it's all because of Sergei. Oh, who cares why? My dream is moving out of this stupid hellhole. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you the notes you asked for on dyslexia. Stop. What dyslexia? Take a look. Huh? What do you think? What's that? A new dress. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah? I want to welcome Velodia in it. When he sees me looking this hot, he'll immediately propose. <gasps> I have the best idea! Let's have a wedding on the same day! Definitely! <gasps> Let's. <laughs> oh, we can't. You'll be getting married earlier since you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Listen, let's go for a walk downtown. I heard there's a concert in the square. Oh, sorry, I can't. I gotta go home. Well, I'll go. Alone. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs> Let's keep on moving forward. The other guys will catch up with us. Uh-huh. Listen, it's beautiful out here. Huh. <laughs> The fourth mark of a speleologist, there are always records of incoming and outgoing in front of his apartment. So the earlier you enter, the earlier you'll leave. I didn't think time would go so slowly. Well, let's go. Just a moment, Volodya. Hey, can you take my picture? Uh, I knew it. Listen, I'll go on. Well, pose somehow to look a little more interesting. There, yeah. Yeah. Today we'll pass a couple of karsts, and then we'll put them on the map. Wait, wait, wait. What is that right there? 
Is that a trap rock? Uh, it's possible. We'll check. Well, in the footsteps of our cave ancestors, and back into civilization? The main thing is not to damage the cave. Ah, the main thing is that we don't get hurt. <laughs> This is the spot. Look at the stalactites. Take a photo. Here, hold this. It's a pity that Arena can't see this. <laughs> pity that Gallia won't see it. Oh. Will you take a picture? Look. Of course. We'll need a couple more photos for the magazine. The purpose of their activities is the upbringing and transformation of the individual. The teacher must ensure the development of the child. So write down intellectual, physical. Come on, a smile for Galia. <sighs> what was that? I, I don't know. The seismograph is silent. I told you, we need a new one. We may fall through, brother. Let's go! Volodya! Go, go now, watch your head! No, Volodya! No! 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 And emotional. <laughs> uh, am I disturbing you? I'm sorry. Can I go out, please? If you must. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll continue if you don't mind. The number you have dialed is temporarily unavailable. Please try again. Miss, do you happen to know where room 8 is? What room? Has Sergei called? No, he usually calls you. I can't reach him, the call isn't going through. Uh, it's not surprising, he's in a cave, not on vacation. Oh, leave it on the news. Today ...as a result of avalanches in the Sinyevskaya cave, where a speleological group was doing research. There's no information on human casualties yet. But according to a lead, which we still have to confirm, it is believed that two scientists were conducting research in the cave at the time of the fall. It cannot be. Nothing is known about them yet. The entrance to the cave is obstructed, and it will take some time to clear the Sergei. way. Sergei! Sergei! My god! He's there! There! Are Sergei. you okay? What's wrong? What's the matter? Are you okay? It's all your fault! If it weren't for you, he wouldn't even be there! He would never have decided to go! You hear me? It's all your fault! Oh! <gasps> Sergei! <gasps> go! Get out of here! And don't come back! I won't let you in! Oh! <gasps> 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 oh, Rina! <laughs> How could this be happening? <laughs> this can't be true. <laughs> Calm down, everything will be fine. They'll come back. How can you be so sure? Sergei promised me. <laughs> Brother, hold on. What the hell happened? There was an earthquake. There's a cave, and the entrance is blocked. Uh, uh. 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 Uh.
hold on. Where does it hurt? Here? Uh, yeah. And here? Uh, well, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You're fine. It's just a couple of ribs. Uh, it's a good thing I have some to spare. <laughs> I'll give you some painkillers. Uh, yeah. Well, I live? You will, you will. There's no choice. Come on. Oh, why so confident? Unlike some, I didn't miss any lectures on medicine. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here. Okay, drink up. Come on. You'll feel better soon. Now stay still. And be quiet. <laughs> I'm afraid that'll be quite difficult. Have they found them? Not yet. But we have confirmation that they were in the cave. When will they find them? Well, the rescue operation is in progress. But I'm afraid it's going to take a long time. Okay then, if that's the case, then we want to go there. Now that is entirely unnecessary. There are plenty of better ways that you can help. No one will even let you get close. But they're alive! If that's the case, then they'll be rescued. There are emergency responders over there right now doing everything in their power. It's true, Arena. At this point, we can only really wait and hope. And go on with our lives. There's nothing else we can do. We have two cans of Spam, two cans of tuna, two packets of barley, a couple pieces of cheese, and some candles. That's it. Now what, man? What are you talking about? They're looking for us, and they'll find us soon. But it's dangerous to stay here. There may be aftershocks. So I'll go and try and find a way out. You stay here and relax, okay? Uh, I've rested enough. I... Uh... I'll be right back. Phew. Oh, hello, my little sweetheart. <laughs> I brought you some liquor, some fruits, vegetables, and some oh. homemade cakes. <laughs> oh, how we've missed homemade food. Thank you, Violetta, my dear. Uh, mm. Darling, do me a favor and go wash mm. these. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Oh, phew. Uh, there's the liquor. You cannot drink, my dear. But Galia and I can have a shot. Well, come on. Get up. Let's make a salad. I don't want to eat. Sergei is starving, and I will too. What do you mean you don't want to? Arena, stop it. You need to eat well. First of all, it's necessary for the baby. I'm just trying to imagine how they are trapped in there. You better think how you are in here. You're right, Violetta. They're fighting for their lives out there. And I'm just lying in here, <laughs> like a fool. Here, I washed the vegetables. <sighs> here, give me the veggies, I'll cut them. Now, that's better. <sighs> Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, my little girls. Everything will be fine. They're alive, they're alive. Volodya. Volodya, wake up. I found a way out. Volodya, wake up. What? It's dangerous to stay here. We have to uh, go. Uh, Did the painkillers work? Can you stand up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe not. Well, don't worry about it, brother. That's why I'm here. Come on. Okay. If it hurts, fight it. Okay. Uh, on my command. Uh, Ready? Uh, and... Let's go! Uh, fight it! Fight it! Drive, Velodja! Good job! 
Good job, Volodya. Well done. Come on. Hey. Are you asleep? Do you think they're really alive? I know it. How do you know? I feel it. But what if... Trust me. I woke up and heard you crying. You heard it wrong. Go to bed. Rest up. This is a dead end too. Well, that's not a bad grave. Don't say that, come on. Wish I had your optimism. There's a cavity here. I'll try to clear it. Hey man. I'm sorry I'm not helping you. I'm just... That's funny. <laughs> next time you'll help. Is there even gonna be a next time? Of course. We will get out. I already promised Arena. Do you remember our professor? Korenkov. What? Well, he taught us. There's always a way out. The main thing is to find it. Latest news from Sydney of the Sky Cave. Today the rescue team clearing the obstruction has announced that they are halting the rescue work. The main reason is repeated mass rockfalls putting the rescue team in danger. for a bit. Damp here. It means there's water nearby. I'll go find it. You wait. Don't move a muscle. Where could I go? What time is it now? The watch stopped a long time ago. <laughs> Listen, this is a joke. There was a watch invented. First speleologist. It glows in the dark. Makes the conversation going, and gives a friendly pat on the back when hiking. That's really funny, Volodya. I'll be back.
Where am I? Oh, it's you. Did I sleep long? Just the right amount. I got some water. <laughs> Careful, go slowly. Slowly. Listen, I think that's it. Don't worry, I'll get more. There's a whole lake back there. <laughs> I'm talking about myself. Don't say that, or your Galia will scratch my eyes out. Brother... Can you turn off the light? I'll sleep more. Dreamed of the sun. Mother. 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 Get some rest, brother. Hey, I heard you're taking a leave of absence. Mm-hmm. There's no time to do everything. Well, yeah. To read magazines. Look, here's an article on how people survive in extreme circumstances. Stop reading about this stuff. Why don't you pick up your phone? If Kostya calls, he can't reach you. Well, because I'm waiting for a call from Sergei. If the phone's busy, he won't be able to get through. Stop torturing yourself. You need to interact with people. I don't want to. Look. Everyone thinks he's dead. What if they're right? Well, they're wrong. Galia, you coming? We'll be late. Lesha, what did I tell you? I asked you to wait for me outside. Go, I'm coming. And why are you looking at me like that? Can't I go to the movies? And is the movie called Betrayal? Call it whatever you want. Well, where are you going? Excuse me, Violetta. Yes? Can I... can I stay here with you for a while, please? 
Why ask? My God, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, it's good you came. Everything will be all right. Just relax. There, there, now, there. Sergey, how can I eat, drink, sleep while you are there alone? Oh, Rina, quickly open the windows before oh the neighbors run over here and try to save us from the fire. Oh, oh I'm not lost in thought. I'm so oh, sorry. I've noticed, well, you've become so absent-minded lately. The eggs are burnt. Of course, you've been interacting with me for three weeks, and with everything that's been going on, I, I know it's not easy. What? It's been three weeks? Oh, poor girl. You got all dirty. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll go take a shower. Go, of course. <coughs> <coughs> Arena, come here, please. I want to talk to you for a bit. Yes, Violetta? Sit down. <clears throat> Arena, if Sergei could come back, he would have already. Accept the reality. Please, leave the past in the past. Live in the present. But I thought you were on my side, Violetta. Yes, I'm on your side. It's true. I wish you happiness. What happened? Where's my ring? I took it. Give me back my ring. Arena, it's better this way. It's driving you crazy. Give me back my ring, and I mean now! How? How could you? I thought I could trust you. I'm gonna go pack my things and go. No, wait. Forgive me. I wanted what's best for you. I didn't think you'd take it this hard. The following train, Moscow, Kostroma, is now boarding. Hey, lady, would you like a cookie? Stop bugging strangers. I'm really sorry about that, miss. He's just very sociable. It's okay. Thank you. My name's Arena. What's yours? My name is Sergey. That's a really good name. Yes, just like my dad. His name is Sergey, too. Sergey! I'm sorry, he's so talkative. Let's go, my social butterfly. Let's go. Let's clarify. It says here that you're looking for a job as a housekeeper or a nanny, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, then. Uh, higher education is incomplete. Is there a reason you didn't finish it? Uh, I've taken a leave of absence. Four reasons pertaining to my family. Mm-hmm. Right. It says here you're single. I have a fiancé. His name is Sergei. Many ladies are afraid to take young single women, like yourself, into their home. Hold on. It says here you grew up in an orphanage. Is that correct? Yeah, so? Well, I'll be honest with you. This will complicate the job search for you. What's wrong with it? Nothing, if you ask me. But many people have prejudice against those who were raised in orphanages. Do I understand correctly that I'm not going to get the job? I'll be extremely honest with you, no. Okay, thank you. Next person, please. Cleaner needed. More information at interview. Good morning, Violet. Uh, Please, good morning. come right in. One moment, I'll change my clothes. Come into uh, the living room. Uh, oh. Did something happen, Violetta? What's wrong? Yes! Arena is missing. What do you mean, missing? Did you try calling her? Well, of course. She's not answering. I've already searched half the city. Uh-huh. Yeah, so... Could she have done anything to herself? Of course not. She's waiting for Sergei. She believes he's alive. And besides, dear, she is pregnant. Ah. Is that so? I'm completely worried. Well, of course. Listen, I wanted to talk to you. What do you think I should do? Should I go to the police? Or file a missing persons claim? Let's wait on that for now. Let me talk to a few people and we'll definitely find her. Try not to worry in the meantime. Oh, thank you. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, Violetta. Don't mention it. Some tea? Oh, no, no. No, thank you. I have so much work to do. Listen, my dear, just call me. Keep me posted. Of course. I'll talk you to you later. Care. Oh. Miss. Hey, Miss. Miss, I'm actually speaking to you. Should I call the waiter? No. Are you new here or what? First time I've seen you. Yeah. And what's your name? I came here to work, not socialize. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to work. Hello, Kasia, what's up? Well, I just saw the girl of yours. Well, the one you sent me the picture of. Hmm. Yeah, she looks like her. Though she wouldn't give me her name. Would you look at that? Arena. What a coincidence. Kostya. Yeah, I work here now. You work here? Uh-huh. Well, what about your studies? Well, everything has changed. Let's sit down. At least talk normally for a bit. Kostya, I can't. I'm working. Well, don't worry. I'll compensate the boss for your break. Yeah? Hmm? Not every day we see each other. Let's go. Come on. 
Have a seat. Well, are you hungry? No. Well, maybe some tea. One moment. Waiter. Could we have some tea and the best cake you have? Thank you. Tell me, how are you? By the way, I heard what happened. I'm so sorry. It's great that you're waiting for him. Kostya, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, I know where you work now, but where are you staying? With Galia or his mother? Well, right here, in the back room. They've given me a space. Here? Are you serious? Listen. Move in with me. I'm renting a three-room flat. I'll let you have a room for free since we're old friends. Why would you do that? Like I said, because we're old friends. Mm. Kostya, no. It's inappropriate and... Sergei wouldn't like it. And do you think Sergei would like how you're living now? Hmm? Well, I don't depend on anyone. Well, I'm not suggesting you depend on me. Just live and do whatever you want. There's nothing wrong with saying yes. How does that sound? Okay? No. I'm sorry, forgive me. I have to go back to work. It was good seeing you. Wait, Arena. Let me at least lend you some money. You don't have to pay me back. You can rent an apartment. No, I'm... I'm doing fine. Arena, listen to me. Know that you have a friend, and you are not alone. I know that I'm not alone. I have Sergei and... and he'll be back soon. Thank you for the cake. Mom is here. Everything's gonna be fine. It's okay. Can I come in? Uh, Kostya. What are you doing here? Well, I wanted to check out your place. It's not necessary. Hmm, yeah. You know what, Arena? You can't live here. Especially right now. It's okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. No, it's all fine, sure, but please explain to me. If you don't want to stay with me, why can't you stay with Violetta? Or with Galia at her dorm, maybe? Kostya. They think that I've completely lost my mind. Well, you could go crazy in here. I mean, look at that faucet. Yeah, it won't stop dripping. Let me get some tools and fix it for you, okay? Sound good? Mm. Just a minute, wait here. Okay. Huh? <sighs> 
There it is. That's it. Okay. Huh? Costa, how long have you been here? You just fell asleep, and I've repaired everything. Thank you. Here, by the way, I bought you some strawberries. To sweeten your routine, so to speak. Go ahead, I wash them. Um, you shouldn't have. We get lots of leftovers here. Don't argue. Eat. It's good for you. Well, if there's nothing else around here I can help you with. Thank you, Kostya. Then I'll just go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 